Hi everybody, welcome to AQYS YouTube channel. This session is a part of our daily current affairs series and today we'll study about Kirshi Udan 2.0. So you must have already studied Kirshi Udan scheme and this particular scheme, it is merely an upgrade to Kirshi Udan scheme. So this scheme, it particularly focuses on tribal areas, northeastern areas, and hilly areas so perishable items from these areas will be transported to different different parts of the country so this is the vision of this scheme to prevent the agricultural waste now this particular scheme it seeks to double farmers income because we know that government of India is committed towards doubling farmers income and efforts are being made in that direction. Government of India has come up with so many schemes. And this is one of the efforts of the government of India. And it aims to improve the logistic facility, air transportation facility. So agri produce from these areas, hilly areas, northeastern areas, tribal areas, agri produce will be transported to different different parts of the country. Now you should be aware of the features of this scheme so under this scheme a full waiver full waiver for airport charges will be provided to freighters okay they will be given a full waiver second an online platform will be set up and the name of the platform is important this is e kushal now this online platform will be set up for the dissemination of information so it will provide it will try to establish the cooperation between stakeholders. Okay, so remember about this online platform which is known as e Kushal. Third, a freight grid will be established. And this grid it will be established on the lines of hub and spoke model. So there is going to be a central location and agri produce from different different parts will be brought. To this central location so this is how the transportation of the agri produce will become easy so remember a grid will be established and this grid is going to be on the hub and spoke model and agri produce from different different parts will be brought on the central location and from that central location it will be transported to different different parts of the country now one more important point Remember, this scheme will cover 53 airports. Okay, this is something which is very, very important. Okay, so I have provided the notes also. You can download these notes. And if you have liked our video, if you have found it useful, then you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more such videos. You can follow our social media platforms for daily current affairs content. And if you have any suggestions, you can mention in the comment section. So that's all for today's session. I'll see you in the next session soon. Bye-bye. Take care.